Compensation is a bit boring at the moment. Chap teasing, is Lil Steve coming back? Week 4 objectives are a bit better and much, much more. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Friday. Um, we're very scaled down stuff. Yes, if you don't know already, and this is the last time I'm going to explain it, uh, there's uh, a lot of the props I had, the Marvel props, uh, are being, I've been boxed up and they're on, on the way, or about to be on the way to the uh, the wedding venue, especially because everything's going to kick off in the next couple of weeks. This is probably going to be one of the final videos that I post before the computer, the PC goes in for repair, so look out for that. Uh, also, um, I'm editing using a laptop which is there just burring away because hey um you know stuff happens things break in life and you have to make do with stuff so um yeah there's been a lot of content that's going to be scheduled in but let's get into some stuff shall we make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on all to this channel make sure to support rich's revolution my second channel link is in the description down below as well appreciate you and also i appreciate those that are very kindly given things like uh, subs, uh, YouTube members, Patreon peoples, you know, thank you so much for keeping that support on the channel, especially with what is a very kind of like chaotic, frantic, stressful, crazy time. Because, um, hey, you know, PCs have got to go in for repair and that stuff. The second video today is going to be a bang. It's going to be M returning back to a crystal opening. Make sure to check that out. Uh, but yeah, as I said, newsy time, news, news, news. Now, in an update to a story that we covered towards the start of the week, there was problems with Beast. There are people that play Beast. Did you know that? I learnt that at the start of this week or the start of this month, uh, one of the two. So Beast has a problem when it came to, I think it was Acrobat working correctly, but it's, it seems to be freestyle. Is the freestyle is a problem? Okay. So yeah, a bit of a back and forth, so a few people like, you know, wondering for about uh, 10 days what's going on. Uh, and yeah, like then uh, after the maintenance, it seems to be everything fine. So if you're wondering whether or not Beast is broken or fixed, he is now fixed. Thank the Lord. Also some things with Alliance Wars, as you know, seasons start next week. And there's been a few things that, uh, well, have been questioned. And we talked about Untouchables and we talked about High Ground and how that works. So the update here on the situation is fixed defense tactics for expert untouchables three instead of high uh, instead of the current high ground three. So well, okay, obviously didn't work. Re-enabled fight duration tiebreaker on tiers nine and hard up. Fixed description to display correctly all languages. Fixed in-fight timer lengths on hard map because I think there were some discrepancies on um, on kind of timing. Some were getting three minutes, some were getting five minutes. It was kind of like a bit of weird. And old season every two seconds, the defender gains an, uh, an altitude charge. When the defender has zero altitude charges, they gain true accuracy and will do burst of one energy damage per altitude charge when blocked. Every 10 hits, the attack is combo. Oh, God. It, honestly, I, I'm so glad I don't play Alliance Wars. Uh, I've got like a video coming out about Alliance Wars and why I just so decided to quit um, the Alliance Wars and Seasons and the impact it's done as a result. So, like, you know, how much I've lost out on from T5 Class Catalyst and other things like that. For the new season, every 5, 10, slash 10 seconds, the defender, depending on the rank, the defender gains an out. Okay, so it's they're kind of like improving the way that that kind of like interacts instead. So that's good to a degree. I don't know. Alliance Wars is for people who enjoy Alliance Wars. I mean, for me, and as I nearly knock off my tablet off my table, which is not a very good thing to do. Um, it's just not. It's just not my bag. I know it's other people's bags, but it's just. I don't see how it's overly enjoyable content and it's definitely something that needs to be looked into to have either seasons removed, a different type of season thing in place, Alliance raiding, bi-monthly things, so one month it's seasons, or one se one time it's seasons and then the next two months after, or one month after, it's like a raid tournament with, um, of alliances or something because we need something different. It's just getting too stale. Now, if you're looking for options for week four of the uh, objectives, then uh, actually, to be honest, week four wasn't that bad. You can either opt to doing this in arena, like that's absolutely fine, or you can do this requesting. And I've got to be honest, it's pretty easy in questing to a degree. Now, if from an uncollected perspective, yes, you can go to various different bits of content. I personally prefer going for the 4.3.6, which is a four energy spend. And you just kind of like, as soon as you log in, go up to the, or go into it, you go up, you've got a strong mystic, you'll be able to smash out that venom, which is uh, that one there. And if you are looking for cavalier options, you've got several. You've got the 3.1 of 
uncollected difficulty where you face up against an easy six star at uh, 60k health and uh, then you've got um, uh, the uh, well it's, the thing is it is six energy so that's kind of a thing as well but if you want a three energy go to agent venom um, that's just up to, it's up to you it depends on like what you're interested in champions to take it down you name it that's interesting but as I said, for me personally, I'm going to be going 3.1 easy 69k Phantom of Duck because it's easy rotatable content. I can just smash out little little bits that easy. And you, because you don't need to defeat it so many times, I'm kind of like, well, I'm not I'm not grinding out any other content. Well, I just kind of like do what is easy. And the same thing when it comes to uh, Venom um, fight in 6.3.6 uh, because, look, five stars to be able to smash this out. And uh, yeah, I, I can imagine if you're uncollected and you don't have a five star or you don't have five star Mystic then kind of like that's a bit sucky but I don't think that's the case in any case you have at it with whatever and however you want to grind and now on to champions that may be coming very soon so it was a dream yes the uh, the, the story continues I haven't really been too interested in this but maybe I I should be to a degree okay so we got here you can't fight off sleep any long any longer though you can have grown to fear the dark shadows that visit your night and your nightly. This exhaustion from real battles in a contest have worn you out. The moment you fall asleep, you'll find yourself on the surface of an undu undulating world of darkness. Undulating. Ooh, big words. Any case, uh, yeah, it continues on, continues on. Gaze into the spiral face of the symbiote that uh, seems somehow unique and familiar, which is kind of there. I don't know if it's an actual. It might be like a new. It's like a new symbiote. Now the thing is, there's two things that kind of come up from this. Right, so as a lot of you know, there is leaks out there, blah, 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 blah. But there is a slight hope here. I have this slim hope. As Slayer of Gods uh, does put, there is a potential link to either having it being null, or even though it's been disputed, but let's face it, can't trust Cabal on this, or it could be the inomatic return of, I've got the wrong slide up. Where's my slide gone? Ever the professional there, Rich. Clicking on stuff and not finding it's there. Summon Symbioid. Lil Steve could be making a return. That's a rumour. Okay, so the rumour of this is that it could see a return of him. Now, we haven't seen him for a very, very long time. And it is something that the player base who remember this event love. Uh, essentially, you were getting a one-star one star Summon Symbioid, which you were able to rank up. When you ranked him up and went played in certain content, he was an absolute beast of a creature and was able to do a lot of damage in the interaction, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of people really enjoyed it, including myself and including a lot of people that even created some kind of like fun stories for him under the alias Lil Steve. Lil Steve went on an adventure and did this and did that and players from the community were able to kind of like chip in and they were said, oh, we went to this thing as the next thing. And it was just like, it was a really kind of fun time. Um, but those unfortunately fun times were a long time ago. So yeah, I, I would definitely like that to be a possibility if that was a thing. I gotta be honest, I think it's probably planning into some kind of like symbiote thing of some kind, or at least having sued like a couple of dark characters as is what has been leaked, um, but uh, I've got this like I slight hope that some of that data mine information may be incorrect and it may be something completely different. But you know, um, it is what it is. And next week is the announcement for new content, so do bear that in mind. So yeah, next Friday, Kaban, we're going to be revealing details of like who are the new champions, what are the new game modes. I mean, predict, pre you know, predictable. Uh, we're going to have Act Seven Point Three. I don't think it'll be delayed another month. But uh, yeah, make sure to wrap up some of that content before we get into 7.2. I don't think we're going to have a variant, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> now next up is compensation. All right, compensation is good and bad at the same time from an Alliance Quest perspective. Because it's not everywhere else in the game type revives and health potions. And that's my biggest problem at the moment is that I'd like to see more revives and health potions for the generic playing of things. Well, you know, like going to um, going to a sort of quest, uh, variants, you know, you name it, monthly quest. Stuff where players are really finding frustrations and stuff. That's where I'm finding a lot of the feedback. They're doing well with getting the Alliance quest stuff out. And that's great. Thumbs up. Happy about that. But when it comes to like the... The, the general playing of the game, 
that's when we're not seeing any compensation and that is becoming frustrating. I haven't even seen a update and by the time this video comes out, I may not be able to record any update until probably early next week, maybe Monday time, depending on, on stuff. So I won't be able to kind of figure out if there's going to be something on Friday. It doesn't look like on Friday we're going to have some sort of like response to the game controls issue. But, you know, anything can really happen. We were told next week, last week, for the, or I think it was told, I think it was it last, it was the, the week prior to that, that it would be last week that we would receive some information about what's going to happen with the state affairs of the game. And I would say this is the best opportunity now, is to let players know what is going on, what are you committing to, because this is just a big limbo right now, and not a magic limbo, this is a proper kind of like, we're in, we're in limbo between finding out, are we in the state of affairs of a good game, a fun game, a, a responsive game, or are we in the state of affairs of a game that's uh, just not there when it comes to uh, getting it right by, as soon as you click on something on screen, it works because it's just not that. And that is where things are pretty sucky at the moment. So yeah, more work needs to be done. Come on, Kabam, you gotta save your game. Let's do a little bit of Art Corner to end the week on a bit of positive. Now, there's not really much being posted in Art Corner. Make sure to post stuff in the Art Corner section of the Rich the Man Discord. Link is in the description. So, first of all, this is by RS, uh, RS Manx, who does this little kind of like fun edit between like, uh, uh, it's got like Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and then Venom going, he looks tasty, Eddie. Uh, that was a terror. That wasn't even. That, that wasn't. A, that wasn't good enough. Kind of like uh, Venom impression. I don't. I'm not going to do it. Really, I'll ruin my throat. Especially because I've got some stuff to do. Right. Also, this is done by Kira. This uh, this lovely little tiger. Fantastic. It's always good to see people having a go with uh, drawing some uh, some characters. As I said, if you want to get involved with Art Corner, make sure to come to the Rich Man Discord and post in the Art Corner on the left hand side your art. From, uh, from the community and we'll put you in the Friday news show. Any case, lots for me to come and uh, lots of schedule stuff in, lots of grind guides, lots of crystal openings, lots of fun videos, those of dissections and such like to make sure to support the channel over this time period, especially as my PC goes in for repair and stuff happens with the, uh, the wedding. So, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks very much for the support. Thanks for understanding. Make sure as well to catch some other content that's located on screen right about now also in the center with rich's revolution where i should be putting some more content and i said mere content on there so yeah put some mere content on there see you soon bye bye